it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies, and today we're gonna focus on our top five coins. Back in the day when there was bull market and everyone was really positive, those videos were used to do really well and people were used to be very positive about them and really wanted to listen to them. So I thought I'll do a little bit of a throwback Tuesday and bring those videos to you. We're gonna talk about the top five coins and currently they are Bitcoin, we've got XRP, we've got Ethereum, Stellar, well, there is Tether, but I'm gonna ignore Tether because I made loads of videos about stable coins and I just don't wanna talk about it. And Bitcoin Cash, which is the ABC right now. And the thing with the crypto market is that it's huge. And I know I'm not really discovering anything new over here, but there are more than 2,000 active digital currencies, each with its own goal, technology, and plan to change the world. However, in order to find real diversity, there is no need to check out all of them. In fact, it is enough to check the five largest coins, in my opinion, by market cap, in order to see how different cryptocurrencies can really be. And with the fact that currently, at the time of this video, there is a stable coin within those five coins, shows us a lot about the crypto diversity and what actually can be involved in it. And we're gonna start with the number one, Bitcoin. And it's basically a coin that doesn't need much of introduction, I think. Even if you have never heard the word cryptocurrency, you have almost certainly heard the word Bitcoin at least once in your life. And this is the number one coin originally conceptualized in the late 2008, unofficially launched in early 2009 by a mysterious figure, a group known only as Satoshi Nakamoto, which was determined to be an alias. Nakamoto stepped back into the shadows soon after Bitcoin was launched and was only seen once since then. His reasons for creating Bitcoin include the desire to take the power away from banks and financial institutions and return it to the people. And by creating BTC, Nakamoto presented the world with the first ever digital currency that can be managed by members of its community, while banks as middlemen would become pretty much obsolete. And cryptos have been fighting for achieving this goal ever since. And Bitcoin's short 10 year long history is filled with ups and downs, hacks, accusations, mistrust, and the like. And however, it still managed to survive without any support from centralized institutions by using its community's faith in it alone. It peaked in late 2017 and early in 2018 when it's reached almost 20,000 per unit. And since then, it has gone through two large market crashes one in January 2018 and the other one only two weeks ago, well, dragged its, its price down to its current value of almost three and a half thousand dollars. And the same happened with its market cap. After the first crash in January, its market cap continued to drop until it stabilized around 120 billion. However, in the last two weeks, it was cut down in half and is currently only 60 billion. Even so, BTC still holds more than half of the total crypto market cap. Second will be the XRP, which is also known as Ripple, is currently the second largest is coined by market cap. It was created by the company Ripple Apps and ever since its creation it had to deal with controversies and accusations of being centralized, a fake cryptocurrency and alike and much of this came from the fact that XRP is the favorite digital currency of traditional banks. The fact that it cannot be mined and that a large number of its coins were controlled by its parent company made it relatively stable. And this, in addition to numerous financial tools that the company has created, has made the XRP very popular with financial institutions. And these tools and products are mostly dedicated to becoming an alternative to old systems of making cross-border transactions instead of each transaction taking days to complete due to the lack of trust. And the XRP's products would improve the process by providing a guarantee that banks that are using it can be trusted. That way, transactions can be completed instantly. It quickly becomes clear that the XRP is a coin that is imagined to be used in a completely different way than Bitcoin. And while BTC was to be a means of payment, a coin that has a sole purpose of being digital cash, XRP is just one element of a financial technology evolution brought by its actual products. And this is one of the examples of the possible crypto diversity that I have mentioned at the start of video. And for a long time, XRP was ranked third closely behind Ethereum, which used to be the second largest coin. However, in the second half of 2018, XRP managed to overtake Ethereum twice now, 
with ETH eventually reclaiming its place. However, after the second market crash this year that came two weeks ago, XRP took over and has remained second ever since with a current price of 30 cents and a market cap of 12 and a half billion almost. Now we're gonna get to Ethereum, which unfortunately hasn't managed yet to reclaim its second position after becoming the third largest coin by market cap two weeks ago after being bested by XRP. As I said earlier, however, it is a coin that has a lot going on for it and it is an official representative of the second generation some people say of cryptocurrencies bitcoin as the first coin is a representative of the first generation and that is just an opinion i actually read somewhere on subreddit so it's quite interesting and i'd like you guys to actually tell me what do you think of those different generations of blockchains do they actually exist or have we even not managed to finish the first generation of cryptocurrencies but the thing with ethereum is until it came to be cryptos were only ever used as means of payment after ethereum was launched it turned everyone's attention to capabilities of the blockchain instead of the potential of cryptocurrency itself this is what started the second generation and what allowed ethereum to remain a dominant coin for all these years and with ethereum developers started realizing that blockchain can be used for more than just recording transactions soon enough smart contracts and decentralized applications started becoming developed and similarly to xrp ethereum stepped away from bitcoin's purpose and it did not aim to become a coin used for making transactions of course it can be used as such but that is not its point its point is to serve as fuel for smart contracts and dApps to allow them to be carried out and functioned as imagined. It kept Bitcoin's ideas regarding transparency, decentralization and giving power to the people. And however, its contribution, you could say, led to shifting the attention towards the blockchain technology, which eventually led to its further development. And now we're going to get on to Stellar, which is currently the fourth largest coin by the market cap. It has a market cap of 2.2 billion and a current price of around 11 cents per coin. And this is a coin that has a goal relatively similar to that of XRP, we could say, and it's to revolutionize cross-border transactions and make them instant. However, while the XRP aims to provide its services to banks and other financial institutions, Stellar wants to do the same, but for regular individual users like everyone around. And this has made a lot of people support Stellar over XRP. But the coin still remains fourth largest crypto, while XRP managed to race to number two. And Stellar is also well known for its low prices and extreme transaction speeds, which actually broke all known records only months ago. And this has officially made its fastest coin, with cross-border transactions being completed within only a few seconds. And the project is decentralized and open source, and it doesn't seem to care much for the rivalry with XRP that the internet discussion often mentioned. And rather than that, it aims to provide the best service for its users, fix important issues, and become the main coin for making this type of transactions and now we're gonna get on to bitcoin cash well i should actually talk about tether but i wasn't really prepared to speak about tether being fifth largest crypto right now so let's get on to bitcoin cash which actually emerged in 2017 as a new fork of bitcoin and this means that it was not invented in a traditional way but rather it has many similarities with btc only it took off at one point and went its separate way right now bitcoin cash is the sixth largest currency by the market cap currently trading at 105 dollars which actually means that bitcoin cash keeps reaching its all-time low not really used to saying that uh, the all-time low with the market cap of 1.8 billion and additionally it's actually believed that the bitcoin cash is one of the largest reasons for the new market crash and similarly to the situation that led to the creation of bch itself its community also ended up having different opinions regarding where the coin should go from there twice a year it has a hard work in order to implement new upgrades and each time its blockchain takes a new turn while the old the original you could say blockchain is left alone the latest work happened around a month ago on november 15 and it was scheduled to occur on this date for months and two parties in bch community wanted different things i basically made a separate video about it but i'll try and shut it out for you basically so as the time went by and they failed to get to an agreement the fork resulted in a split of bch community and neither of the two emerging blockchains was abandoned instead changes were made to one of them 
while the other one remained the same as it was before. And the issue came up due to the fact that both of them wanted to be called the true BCH, let alone being called the real Bitcoin. <laughs> and this is why they entered a fight for dominance, which came to be known as a hash war. And in order to win, each side mined new blocks curiously and gathered as much hash power as they could, resulting in a severe damage to Bitcoin ecosystem and a market crash that affected the entire crypto space. As for the BCH itself, actually, it still aims to be used as a payment method and a currency of the world, just as its parent, Bitcoin, and claims to be the real Bitcoin. So guys, if you've watched this video new, I'm assuming you've been around the market for a while. If you're a newbie, then obviously ask me questions about those coins, what I think. Why do I have such an opinion about, for example, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, ABC, the Satoshi Vision, or I've got my own way of calling it, but I want to say about it. If you actually want to know what I think of Bitcoin SB, you can go onto my Twitter, uh, Okun Sara, and you basically find out about it. But I tweeted this today. It was a quick uh, calc I've done following a couple of stats I found on the internet on my uh, lunch break today at work. Fascinating times, I know. And basically, it, tell me what you actually think about the current market crash. Do you think it, Bitcoin Cash is a little bit responsible for it? Do you actually think Ripple deserves to be a number two? And what do you think of this? Of the possible 70 times market cap increase? Would it even be possible? Or maybe I should ask you a question. When do you think will happen? Regardless of it, subscribe to Okan Bust Ladies, hit the like button, follow me, Elkin Sarah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want me to review next, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.